Hey everyone, what up? Luke here from Wet Tech Review, here with a review of Jolly OS 1.2. So let's get started. So I'm going to just open up Jolly OS 1.2 in a virtual box, which is a virtual machine software. And while the um, virtual machine is turning on, just to go over Jolly OS a little, if you watched my video before the Jolly Cloud OS, this is the updated version of it and they renamed it to Jolly OS. And it's made by a company called Jolly Cloud. And basically, um, this is a France based company and they've been making this software, which is a more web based software like you might see in Chrome OS and it works really well. And their new update adds a ton of features that I'm going to go over such as a guest mode, so if you have someone else using your computer, they can't access everything you have, um, new file browsers, they ha added support for Dropbox, uh, Google Docs, and their file browser. They also added a continuous web experience, they call it, which basically means you can access your desktop from anything. You can access it on an iPad, Chrome web browser, um, Internet Explorer, Firefox, anything and it just works really well. So this is the login screen. As you can see, there's local user as well as the guest user. And you can see um, you can use this computer as a guest. No personal data will be kept on this computer. But I'm going to log in as a local user. So let's just type in my password. And it's just going to sign me in. So the local password is basically the password you make when you install the software. And once you um, log in to Jolly OS, um, it'll bring up the desktop that you have and basically when you do something new or do anything new on your desktop it'll be synced up to the cloud so that you can access it from anywhere so as you can see this is my desktop and I have uh, two pages down below we have our little page numbers as you can see um, and since the last version since Jolly Cloud OS 1.1 it hasn't changed that much but it has added some cool features. You can see if I go over an app, you can see I can delete an app. Say I don't want this printer add-on anymore. All I do is I just click the thing, and at the top right here, you can see it's syncing up to the cloud, so it knows I got rid of that, as well as stars, and this will add it to your sharing. So basically, in Jolly OS, you have your own public page, which I can show you right here. If I just go to public page, this is my public page, and here, as you can see, I just added Plants vs. Zombies, and this is kind of like a Facebook page and Twitter mixed, where you can see you have followers, you can see how many computers you have, um, and they call them recycled computers, and you can see the apps you've shared. And you can also uh, get people like friends and different things like that. But to start off, I'm just going to go over the home. It comes with a, its own version of the Chromium browser, which is kind of like the Chrome web browser if um, you look at my other reviews, which works really well. And as you can see, it just looks like it. And it brings us to the Jolly Cloud blog, of course. Um, and basically, these are just apps you can download on their App Center. And they all look really, really nice on this um, software. And along with your apps, you can change the background really easy. You hit this little background button that I just hit. You can change your background to whatever you want. So let's try this background. Say I want something new instead of these rocks. And there you go. It, I have a new background, and it's really simple to change everything. Uh, so as well as the home screen, which is this A where you have all your apps, you can hit this plus button. And basically what this is, is this is their app center. It's kind of like Apple's app store where you can download a bunch of apps and things like that. So they have a bunch of things. Like you can see Open Office Calculator was there. Um, Impress, which is like PowerPoint. They have Office Live, Flickr, Google Voice, New York Times. But a bunch of apps, and these vary too. Some are web-based, and some are installed on your hard drive. And these are all the same type of things they had before in the 1.1 version. But the newest edition is the Add New App. And basically what this is, is you can say, 
Um, I want an app called Wet Tech Review, and it's a, a Wet Tech Review dot blogspot dot com, and you hit continue. Um, for a description, we can put tech, and then down here we can put um, what should we put? Let's see. We can say something like video and hit finish. Uh, well, it's not working right now. But um, basically, you can add your own websites and make your own little apps for any website you want. So if you wanted one for Wet Tech Review, you can make one. If you wanted one for Engadget or CNET or any site like that, you can just make your own little app that's like a shortcut. So that way when you click it, it'll bring you to the site. Just like New York Times here, if you click it, I'll just make it full screen. It brings you to the New York Times website. Well, a modified version for Jolly Cloud. And as you can see, you can see everything just as you would. And so next in Jolly Cloud, we have our activities. And this is where you can see your Facebook updates, Twitter updates, your Jolly Cloud friends, and everything. So on the left panel, we have friends and you. You is your own profile, of course. In friends, you can see um, the streams. You can see who you're following, which is only Jolie Cloud. You can see your followers, and I have none. Um, the top members in uh, the Jolie OS. So these are all the top people. And as you can see, most of them work at Jolie Cloud, such as the content editor. And then here's the my public page once again. And this is just a really good way to access all your social media type stuff. And it lets you integrate things like Facebook and Twitter, as I said, and a whole bunch. On the next tab at the top, we have our files, which is represented by a folder. Um, and under this device, you can see Jolie Cloud. And this is just um, your normal file browser. You can see documents, desktop, downloads, music, pictures, stuff like that. And you can just click in to go in further. Um, and you can do whatever you'd like. But along with the normal file browser, um, they added new stuff to it. So you can now add Dropbox if you link your Dropbox account and Google Docs if you link your Google Docs account, which is really, really, really nice to have. And then in the next tab, we have our badges, history, shared apps, this is basically all your settings, so you can see your info about it, like the account info, your badges, I'm a recycler because I have three devices with Jolie Cloud. I can see my history of everything I've done, so apps I've installed, devices I've added it to, just everything that's happened, my shared apps that I share, which I added Plants vs. Zombies, as well as my devices. And you can always edit your settings or log out of your account if you don't want to go in. And it's just a really neat feature to have. And it's a really great OS. And the new update makes it a really wonderful operating system. But I want to show you one more feature. And that's their um, continuous desktop experience I was talking about before. And basically, this lets you access your account from wherever you are. So you can go to my Julie Cloud dot com and here you can log into your Jolie Cloud account so I'm just going to type in my credentials real fast I'll type those in and then I just hit login and wait a second and as you can see it looks just as it did when I logged in on the virtual machine that was running the actual operating system and once it gets loaded up, you can see here's my whole desktop. It just takes a minute to load since it's all online. But I mean, it's really, really neat. And you can do everything you would on. See, it's all up and working. You can see your app center, and you can do anything I could on the machine. You can see that this one's being shared just as before. Um, all the pages work pretty smoothly. I mean, it's a really good operating system, especially if you want to do stuff in the cloud. 
then you just have everything here. Here's your Dropbox again and your Google Docs. Of course, you don't have your um, device folder because you aren't on a device. You have your settings once again. And this is just one of the best features. So that if you're not at home and you want to access your desktop, to say go into uh, Office Live, Microsoft Office Live, you can do that. And you can access your whole desktop. And as long as it's synced up to the cloud, you'll have it. I mean, of course you can't open things such as Impress or Writer since it is installed on the device, but overall this is a really good feature to have. And it just works really well, and as you can see, everything just works really seamlessly and fast. And overall, this is a really great operating system, and I would recommend this to everyone because even though it looks like it might be a netbook type operating system because it does, it looks, it's very simple, uh, very web-based, but I mean, it can be used on desktops too and basically anything. It just improves the performance of your computer because it's so light and fast and great, and it can be used on a bunch of, like, devices. It has a list on their website that just goes on and on, and it looks like a ton of computers, and it supports almost anything. I mean, even when I was installing it on the virtual box, it had drivers built in just for this. So it's an amazing operating system and I recommend it to you all. You can get it from jollycloud.com and you can get the virtual box software at virtualbox.org and of course all the links will be in the description. You can read our full review and others at wettechreview.blogspot.com. And if you ever have any suggestions or want to send us anything to review, remember to email us at wettechreview at gmail.com. And as always, rate, subscribe, and comment. Thanks. See you next time.